Welcome back to PJ Chain Design. Today we are going to talk about this horse shoes style of the men's ring. Are you ready? Let's get started. We are going to starting with the ring size. First, I'm going to use a 16 millimeter. Most of time, the gentleman ring will be much bigger than this, but this is just for the demonstration. First, we need to define the outline for this ring. I'm going to create the bottom of the ring shank by using the arc and for whatever size you want it to have. A lot of time having the bottom of the ring shank a little bit taper will be nicer. So I'm going to move all three points on the bottom up. Then I'm going to coming into the top um, using the arc to decide it how curve I wanted to have on the top. I also want to turn on the grease snap and snapping kind of counting. I'm probably wanting to do it's about four here and four on the other side and moving up roughly like this. So we have the top is a little bit curved. Now we can go in from this point to this point directly, but the best way is make them smoother. So instead of the drawing directly, I'm going to use the extended curve. You have the option from the arc to the point. So we're gonna extend it from here to here. Do again, extend it from this point to this point. All right, so then that will be super smooth there. Let's go ahead to join them. Now we have this profile. We are going to decide how, why this ring is going to be. I also like the ring to be taper. So I'm going to using the rectangle tool and with the three point in the option that's snapping into this point right here, the midpoint and this point as a quadrant and coming out for how wide we wanted to have. Let's say we wanted to have about 10 millimeter. And we're gonna do it again on the bottom from the quadrant to the quadrant, make sure you have the three points on. So the second point is the second quadrant and we're gonna decide how thick we are going to have on the bottom. Let's move it back to the middle. So using the move tool to snapping to the midpoint here and snapping from the midpoint to the quadrant. So they are there. Now that's making into the ring. We are going to use the sweep to rail, rail one, rail two, cross section one and two and make sure the they are aligned and facing the same direction in this case they all face inside so that will be correct when we have this if your case is something look like this it's a little bit bumpy make sure you click on the maintain high and you also want to close the sweep so we can have a complete ring Let's click OK there, then this will be our ring. Coming to the top view, I want to decide how, uh, where the whole shoes is going to start. So I'm going to create an arc. This arc is going to snapping, coming into the perspective views somewhere around maybe here. And I want to hold in my shift so it will go into intersect with the other edge and coming into at the midpoint. All right, this is not completely flat or straight, and we need to make a color out of this one. Let me project it to the C plane, and we want to delete the input there. Let's go ahead to using the surface extended curve. We want to extend it straight. So then this will be our cutting tool. Let's go ahead to deal with it with only half of this shape and we can mirror to the other side. So I'm going to draw a straight line and we are going to use this one to trim the, the other side. So now we have this, we are going to using this surface and let's go ahead to trim the rest of this on the top. Okay, now we also want to trim on the other side. Let's go ahead to use this one to trim the extra here, both on the top and also on the bottom. So now we have this. Let's go ahead to join them together. So now we have a joint. <clears throat> we also need to cut the outside. We having this curve over here, let's go ahead to using the offset. And you can also thinking about how big of a stone you're going to set. I have two millimeter right here, which means I may also 
uh, I can set about 1.5 to 1.8 millimeter stone, they will look nice. I'm also going to draw a straight line and roughly something like this over here and having that one to mirror to the other side. And we are going to join all three of them. And also draw a straight line and join again so it will be a closed curve. Now with this one, we're simply just going to be extruded straight up and that will be our cutting tool. All right, now we have this one over here. We want to make sure that we can bowl in different this one out of this one. If you are using Rhino 5, be really careful. You have to make sure everybody's close. Otherwise, you may get an error message. Now we have this over here. We are going to give it a, a fillet edges on everybody uh, beside the one right at the bottom because that's where we are going to mirror to the other side. I will also suggest you to remove the one right at the straight here because we don't need a fit over there. And that can reduce the issue as well. We don't need a fit over here and also here. Okay, so now we have everybody select. Let's click OK. A lot of time you will have the break and some outside area on the sharp corner. So double check if that happened, we can using the um, surface from two, three, four edges, and we can just pick up this one and this one to creating that surface. Again, this one and this one to creating that surface. And after that, let's go ahead to join everybody. All we need to do now is mirror to the other side and let's go ahead to join together. If you plan to print this one, you need to double make sure when you click on this one, it's showing closed solid polish surface over here. And again, you can do nice B setting on it to finish this horseshoes design. Thank you for watching. See you next.